Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. Today I'm going to go over the Halloween countdown file. And there's two different sets of files in your folder there. There's the one that I call smaller and then the one that I call larger. And I'm going to go over the smaller one first. It All the pieces are identical to the larger one. They're just, well, smaller. So I'm going to talk you through how this is laid out and give you a couple of tips along the way. So first of all, let me go over the line colors. All of the black lines are cut, the red lines are score, and the green lines are to engrave. Now, if you'd like to score the engraving instead because it would be faster or if you want to paint it a different way, feel free to change the green to red or to uh, just score the engraving parts. That's, of course, just fine. That's all up to you and how you'd like to do that. Now, on the smaller version here, there are nine total panels and... If you're using a Glowforge, which I know a lot of you are, three of these panels will fit on one sheet of 11 by 19 or 12 by 20 material. So this whole design at this size is going to take three sheets of material. And they are laid out here in the order that you would put them together, uh, for the most part, from the back to the front. So let me go through this with you. So here at the top left, we've got the back layer, which is a cloud layer. And then you'll see also as I go along, I'll have some of the smaller pieces inside there so you don't waste any material. So we've got the cloud layer here and some of the tombstones and the center divider for the tombstone holder. Then the next one up is the moon here. And this is the, uh, the gable or uh, the roof part for the church. The next one then is one of the clouds going to the left, which goes on top of the, uh, the moon. And here you've got another tombstone. You've got one of the long sides of the uh, tombstone holder and then the two end pieces and the base. And real quick, I'll just show you how this goes together while we're here. The end pieces just go right here. Uh, the two base uh, tabs go right into there. This one will go right into here. And then this long one here uh, just slots into these two uh, slots right here on both ends. And then the same thing on, this, on the other side, the long pieces down below here. And then here's the middle piece, and these two feet right here will go right into these two slots here. And this is the only part of the entire design that you may have to adjust for your materials are these six slots. They're all the same size. So you measure your material and find out what, uh, what thickness it is, and you might change these to match that. So I'll keep going to the fourth piece here. Got another cloud layer. Fifth piece is the church layer, and all this red is score, and again, the black is cut. This arched piece right here goes over the door. You'll see that in the photos. you got the witch who's currently upside down. You can put her in the sky however you'd like. And then this piece right here goes right, whoops, sorry. This piece right here goes right over top of that, um, that window there. On top of the church is the uh, tree layer. And you've got a sign that says days till Halloween that's going to go right on these score lines here so you know where to put it. The owl is going to go right on top of the owl there so it'll, look, be, so it'll look dimensional. And then we've got the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern, which is going to have the top piece go right on top of the bottom one there. And remember, the red is score. Go down here to the seventh, eighth, and ninth pieces. This is a spacer or a frame. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Here's a bunch more of your tombstone tombstones. The uh, eighth piece is the front that has the wrought iron uh, fence there. And then here's a final frame or another spacer. And here's one of the pieces to the um, tombstone holder up there. And then some more tombstones. So one of the options you have, and I recommend that you do it this way, um, is that you're going to put this spacer and this spacer uh, right after the tree so that it creates a, an, enough space so you can put the two tombstones right here and right here, and they're going to be right in front of the church door. So that's all there is to the pieces here. The larger version is exactly the same, except for the pieces are, <laughs> like I said, larger, and it will take up five pieces of material instead of three. Other than that, they're exactly the same. One other thing I wanted to show you is how I do this when I'm cutting this, regardless of what laser I'm using. These, these nine pieces will typically not fit on your laser all at one time. So the way that I do it is I load this entire page with these nine uh, panels on it. And I just simply drag all of them off the workspace. 
and then I take three of them at a time if I'm using this size and I'll drag it on, I'll cut those and then I'll drag it off to this side. I'll take the next three, drag it on, cut those, drag it off and so forth so that that way the ones that I'm working on that I haven't done yet are on the right side and the ones that I'm finished are on the left. You can do it however you like, but that's the way I do it. Uh, and that way I, I really like having everything in one file like this because it makes it a lot easier so I don't have to load a whole bunch of things. I can just load one thing at a time. Hope that helps. Make sure you watch the uh, quick overview video that comes along with this one and read through all the description that I have in the listing. And of course, always message me if you have any questions.